We are digging deeper into some encouraging news about the COVID-19 vaccine and pregnant women. As we reported yesterday, according to the Cleveland Clinic, early research studies suggest that vaccine antibodies have been detected in breast milk, which means that a vaccinated mom may be able to help protect her baby from COVID-19 by breastfeeding. And we have learned more about COVID-19 and pregnancy in the last year, certainly during the pandemic as well. Dr. Chandra Adams is a local OBGYN who joins us via Zoom. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. I know you had a late night working. Good morning. Yes, thanks for having me. So these are small studies that I just referenced. So more research clearly needs to be done. Is there any more information, though, about how long a mom needs to breastfeed to perhaps pass vaccine antibodies onto their infant? Sure. So most of the studies that we use to reference for moms refer to either breastfeeding less than three months versus breastfeeding more than six months. Hmm. So we know that breastfeeding less than three months does show that babies have increased risks of asthma and dermatitis and other ear infections and things like that. And we know that breastfeeding more than six months confers longer immunity for baby and protection against many other infections. Yeah, maybe- That's kind of the road that, that we're using. Right, and and, and and other infections other than COVID-19 as an example. So, so does getting the vaccine offer the fetus and ultimately the newborn any protection regardless of if mom breastfeeds? Well, yes, because it will, and also depends on, on timing. So if mom gets it in the beginning of her third trimester, so third trimester is when mom begins to confer passive immunity to baby the uh, antibodies that mom, the things that mom's already immune to cross the placenta in order to give some passive immunity to baby. So the ideal time, if if there is one for, for vaccinating in pregnancy, would be late second trimester into early third trimester. All right, and that's important too. Uh, and I wanna talk a little bit, if we could, about dispelling some myths and misinformation that we have seen online. Can getting vaccinated against COVID-19 hurt or alter the DNA of an infant and, and cause birth defects, for example? So the largest study we have to date is from New England Journal of Medicine. It was published in April. We looked at over 35,000 vaccinated women. And the cool thing about the study is that we had women from all uh, gestational ages in pregnancy, even some that were vaccinated between the time of their last cycle and the time that they found out that they were pregnant. That was the smallest group, about 2%. But about 25% were in the first trimester, uh, about 40% were in the second trimester, weeks 14 to 28, and th- then the rest were, you know, full, full third trimester and closer to term. Um, the rate of birth defects that we saw in the study was about 2%. Um, And in comparison, in general population, it's about 4%. Mm. So we didn't see any increased incidence of birth defects in the vaccinated population. And what about breastfeeding after getting vaccinated? Could that somehow harm the baby? No. So again, the way that ba- that moms transfer immunity to the baby w- with breastfeeding is that there are different types of antibodies that are created, IgM, IgG, IgA, too far into the weeds. But IgA is the one that crosses into baby's gut and confers the immunity to, to the baby. So the conception that the actual vaccine that's injected into mom's arm is creating the immune response in, in the baby is, is actually false. Um, the the, the baby just, like I said, passively gets immunity. It doesn't create its own immunity with, with the vaccine. Whatever actually passes into the breast milk, um, baby's uh, gut system, the acid in the stomach, unless it's coated in uh, fat, uh, which it's not, um, is destroyed. And so the actual vaccine isn't what does it, it's the antibodies. And any kind of immunity sounds good to me when it comes to having a new baby. (laughs) One more question, if I could, and briefly, are you seeing more pregnant women being hospitalized who are not vaccinated as a result of the Absolutely, just in general. I mean, uh, 98% of the people who are hospitalized with COVID now are unvaccinated. Uh, My moms who are getting COVID, because make no mistake, this is a much bigger boom than the first time we had. Uh, daily, we're getting phone calls about moms who have been exposed or infected, um, and the ones who are having to be hospitalized for respiratory support are unvaccinated. Nothing more frightening than than a husband having a wife in the hospital who's pregnant, who's having trouble breathing, without a doubt. Dr. Chandra Adams, thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me.